Hello everyone, Oscar back here again with a new reaction video. Yep, yep, once again, gonna react to something spooky. And today the video is 10 scary ghost videos to watch in the dark. And I mean, it's gonna be dark in a minute, so I guess good enough. And the video is by Fearsome Top 5. But yeah, I think this is gonna be a good one. But before we start, of course, in the description, link to the channel, go in there, subscribe, like, and all that stuff. And of course, while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to me as well. We are closing in on 200 subscribers right now, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's great. So let's get there. Thank you. Now, let's begin. Welcome to Fearsome Top 5. Thank you. To get into the spooky mood, today we're taking a look at 10 scary videos of paranormal activity. Uh oh. Number 1. The Urban Ghost Hunters YouTube channel is run by a small group of investigators traveling across the country to investigate iconic haunted locations. Their mission is to find proof of the paranormal, and with each video they look to be getting closer. Well in one of their investigations they caught some of their best proof to date. The group yeah. decided to venture inside the abandoned Oakville Hospital in West Tennessee. Originally opened as a tuberculosis hospital in 1898, it was later transformed into a care home for the mentally ill. Rumors of a haunting inside led them to this location, and what they ended up catching on camera may just prove those rumors to be true. Okay, hey, let's take a look. Oh shit! After turning a corner, that? a pitch black figure looks to be walking down one of the halls. A dark pair of legs can clearly be seen walking away as soon as the investigator pointed his camera in that direction. No one on the team noticed this being at the time until they later reviewed this footage. But according to the urban ghost hunters, they were the only ones in the building at the time. So hmm. who or what was walking around the Okay, good start. I mean, got a little, little jump scare there. So now I'm awake. I'm ready. But I'm okay. I mean, it's really hard to see, at least when you pause. I mean, you can see the shape here. I mean, it looks weird. But obviously, you could see it walk. So, I mean, it's something. That night. I mean, you can see the legs. Okay, good, good. A woman that goes by Star from the Star Cross Lover TikTok account recently had a paranormal experience. One night at 11 p.m., her ring camera went off with a notification saying person detected. Uh -oh. Thinking it was weird for someone to be outside of her home at that time at night, she decided to look at the footage. But what she saw sent chills down her spine. I mean, it's just the normal person, no? As soon as the video begins, an eerie transparent figure can be seen walking by. Moving from right to left, this gray figure doesn't appear to have any facial features. Star has never experienced anything like this before, but she may just reconsider checking that ring camera the next time she gets a notification. Number 3 I mean, that was a bit weird. Because, I mean, it really just looked like a normal person. And I mean, when it... But okay, sorry. Decided to I'm look back. at the footage, but what she saw sent chills down her spine. Can now we take it down a notch? Because I mean, it's a bit transparent, I guess. Because I mean, it seems like it got no head. And at the same time, it looked so much like a normal person. I mean, it could just be some camera glitch. Because I mean, the trees also looks very gray ish and transparent so i mean it could just be some glitch because i mean you can see the pole here it disappears because so i mean she's not fully transparent but I, I don't know and you can see the shadow here so yeah i don't know i don't know but like i always say you never truly know and it's good footage it is as soon as the video begins, an eerie transparent figure can be seen walking yeah. by. 
Moving from right to left, this gray figure doesn't appear to have any facial features. Star has never experienced anything like this before, but she may just reconsider checking that ring camera the next time she gets a notification. I mean, the head thing is a bit Number weird. Three. A man named Ryan runs the Gaming with Notorious TikTok account, where he often posts clips from various video games. His entire page is filled with these videos, but recently, he posted something out of the ordinary. After his wife's family sent him a strange clip from their security camera, he decided to upload it to TikTok to see if he could find some answers. And in the video, it looks like someone or something was lurking outside of their home in the middle of the night. Uh-oh. That's not good. A very tiny thing. Despite the potato video quality, it's not hard to notice the small translucent figure that looks to be walking by. This gray being looks to be no more than just a few feet tall. And according to Ryan, the direction this figure was walking was directly towards the outside of one of the bedrooms. So uh -oh. could this have been something paranormal, or perhaps a glitch with the camera? You decide. A little ghost gnome. Number four. A man named Dom from TikTok recently began posting videos of the strange things he's been experiencing. Over the last few months, something paranormal seems to be making its presence known in his apartment. And with this activity normally happening at night, Dom was shocked when he caught this eerie moment during the day. Okay, so it seems to be wanting to happen uh -oh. more in the afternoon, but just to prove that there's nothing there. Okay. Loud violent banging can be heard coming from the closet. Dom shows that this terrifying sound isn't coming from the front door, and there's definitely no one inside of the closet. He has no idea what could be causing this, but he's starting to take advice from his concerned viewers. Absolutely. So any money that is donated. Yeah, do you think you could try putting a camera inside the closet? I'm not sure what good it will do. It would be interesting to hear that. Um yeah, I mean, true. Made it on the streams goes directly towards equipment, and we have enough to buy a ring camera, so I put the order in for that. Should be here by next week, and once it's here, I'll set it up and I'll start uploading footage of that. Okay. I mean, it's something about when stuff like this happens during the daytime, it feels more legit for some reason. I don't know why, but it just does. With a ring camera on the way, it looks like we'll soon get an inside view of the closet when these okay. violent bangs begin again. Number 5 Very good. TikTok user Rio Spencer recently posted a video that caught my eye. One night during a storm, his little brother was recording a video of the sky outside in hopes of catching lightning on camera. And while he did succeed at catching the lightning, he also caught something else. Pay close attention to the sky and then to the house below after the lightning flashes. Okay. As the lightning illuminated the sky, hmm. something dark appears to be falling from the clouds. Moments later, this same dark object looks to float along the roof of the house across the street. While in the sky, this object does not appear to be a bird or a plane. And as it floats past the house, I'm left with no explanation. Number 6 Okay, I mean, that was a bit weird. At first, when they were just recording the sky, I felt like, I mean, it's gotta be something normal i guess but I, okay when it came down on the house like that okay that, that was a bit weird i mean obviously it could be anything because i mean the quality wasn't the best so it was kind of hard to tell what it was but yeah i mean i'm pretty happy that it wasn't the plane the plane crashing down like that in a storm would not be that good a few videos back, we took a look at the eerie case of Matthew Haynes. He recently created a TikTok account to document the strange things happening in his home and to hopefully find some answers. Okay. From hearing disembodied voices to seeing Sorry. objects get moved by an unseen force, Matthew is desperate to get this activity to stop. And with no other ideas of what he could possibly do, he resorted to calling his very skeptical brother. Hi everyone. 
kind of an update, but a new development, I suppose. Got my brother here. Yeah. Obviously seen all my videos. Do you believe it? Not in the slightest. I think you're just going mental, to be honest. Yeah, but when... Okay. <laughs> right. Well, I don't think you're going mental, but I just think you're like... You're hearing stuff that's natural, and then you're like... Compacting it and making more... We all have that one friend who is 100% not buying it. Always find an explanation for everything. I mean, I'm pretty skeptic as well, but I mean, I'm, I'm kind of open about it because I feel like you never know. And I mean, that's the exciting part, like I've said a thousand times now. But yeah, well, let's see. More if it's not actually. If you yet. can prove him wrong. Fine. So, what we're going to do is. I'm going to live at his house. You're going to live at my house. Yep. Okay. You don't believe in it, so it's fine. Yeah, not in the slightest. I want the rest, <laughs> so it's fine for me. Yeah, fair play. I think you're just hearing old pipes and stuff, and then just making more of stuff that's actually there. He's definitely not listened to everything that's happened, but whatever. I am. Um, yeah. So we'll swap. You need to make sure that you film things, even if you think it's... Explain oh, yeah, yeah, I will do it. If I hear stuff that I don't know what it is, I'll record it, even if, like, I watch it back four times later and say, oh, that's the pipes. Because that's what it's going to be, let's be honest. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, this uh, is getting interesting. We'll see what happens. Yep. Hopefully, to be fair, I genuinely hope... I, say, I hope that you film things and find an explanation. I will do, because I'm always right. Well, hopefully. Okay. Matthew's brother Dan is clearly not a believer in the paranormal, but he very quickly found out just how real it is. I mean, obviously, he's 100% okay. I mean, some people do not believe in it, some do. Then you have, like, me, who's in, in the middle of everything. He's just enjoying the horror and, I mean, keeping an open mind. But, I mean, it is what it is. But, okay, it seems like he's gonna be get proven wrong here, so let's take a look. Alright, I've just woke up. I think there was a noise or something, I'm not sure. Um, I promised if it happened, I'd, I'd make a video. Um, I'm basically just gonna prove myself right here. Okay. Mm, I don't know, let's go downstairs and have a look. Oh dear. Let's have a look in here. I think you heard like a kid. Oh dear. I mean, there's no ear, like. I'm not sure what he's... Oh, I don't know, f***ing I mean, I'm not sure what he's seeing at night, but I'm not f***ing seeing anything. What? Oh, shit! Hmm. I mean, that's pretty extravagant, but... Both windows are open here, like... I can't hold that. That'll just... That'll just me. Surely that'll just me. Like I say, I'm not seeing anything. Man, Thank like, God for that. That's definitely window open. Isn't it right? I don't know what you're so scared for. Like, I'm not sure why everybody keeps... He's losing it. This is it. what I was telling him. As soon as you get something in your head, you start hearing shit that's not there. Oh, shit. I don't know. Let's go and have a look in here again. Ah, come on, man. Hmm. 
There's no air. Right, I keep thinking that, but that door just closes on its own, doesn't it? Man. Throughout the video, disembodied voices and whispers appear to surround Dan, and it looks like this entity is desperately trying to make its presence known. But despite its attempts, Dan is clearly in denial. But it looks like he's slowly starting to see what's really going on. Right, I'm just uh, we're just trying to watch a bloody uh, a YouTube video in here, and um, I, I I thought I heard a whisper. Um, I probably I, uh, I'm I'm probably wrong, but um, what? Um, oh, oh, in hell, man! Yeah, man. <laughs> What are you doing here? Really? I was watching. Oh, come on, man. Don't you, like. You filming? I thought I heard at summit. No, no. I, yeah, I told you the other document, yeah. even if I didn't believe it. Like. Well, God, my heart's racing. Now. You were exactly, yeah. <laughs> So I'll you uh, won't admit that you were. Uh, you, yeah. Well, let's go, some uh, go on then, whatever. I mean, no, I just think you've bloody, like, not peer pressured me, but, like, you've kind of, like, peer pressured me. I don't mean peer pressure, pressure, but you've kind of oh, influenced shit. me. Do you know what I mean? Oh, fucking well, hell, fire, man. I'm not even in the room, so I No, I mean, like, I've got, like, this preconception because you've told me and shit, so everything well, yeah. that's. The, Yeah, I thought I'd slammed it. Is it my ear or is it the sound? Because I mean, the, vo the sound kind of disappears on my right ear sometimes. It's the sound, it's the sound. You... Come on, man, did you, uh -oh. did you close the fucking front door properly? Are you fucking kidding me? I can have a wind. Like, wind tunnel or something, like. Did I? I don't, I'm having a fag early. Did I leave fucking front room door open or what? Uh oh. It's not in here, man. No, come on, man. Like you take a piss, aren't you? I'm not taking the piss, but I'm just come back. I know that. I don't understand what. Just getting intense. Well, like when I leave door open, like when I leave my windows. Just, just turn it off because you're obviously not taking it seriously. Do you think that the wind can. I'm not, I am taking it. I'm just trying to like. I, no, if you think that wind can rattle door handles and. F that. Just. No. Just well, I was just trying to bring a fucking like reasonable theory. Yeah, it's not, is it? After hearing a noise from outside of the room, Good. Dan nervously went to take a look, only to find his brother. But as the two started chatting, the door to the room slowly opened and then closed on its own. Despite this activity, Dan still insists that it's all being caused by the wind. I'll continue to keep an eye on Matthew's profile, and hopefully the next time we see Dan, he's not floating on the ceiling after pissing off whatever's in that house. <laughs> I mean, that was really good. Damn, this was super intense, and I mean, it was, it was kind of fun to see from a point of view from a guy who's very skeptic. You know, even though all the sounds, all the shit going on around him, he, he tried to find an explanation anyway, and it was kind of fun to see. They were really good, really good. Number seven. Is it true? Amanda I don't know. Robert runs the Exploring the Unknown YouTube channel where he films his adventures exploring haunted locations as well as hikes he goes on with his wife. Well, in one of his exploration videos, he set out to explore a supposedly haunted slaughterhouse. Located Cozy. in Albuquerque, New Mexico, this abandoned building is surrounded by reports of disembodied voices, ghostly footsteps, and even shadow figures. Mm. Accompanied by his friend and UFC vet Isaac Valley Flag, the men began exploring the property. And soon after making their way inside the building, Robert caught something on camera that's downright terrifying. So are you into the paranormal? Uh, yeah, it's, it's always kind of a... 
uh, a fascination, like we were talking about, a fascination for me. Uh, I think it's a, a human fascination, too. Uh, yeah. Like we were talking about. During this conversation, I didn't notice the shadow person walking behind Isaac. And we heard knocking and feet shuffling. Huh. And that's why we stopped, because we were wondering what that was. But upon review of the video, you can clearly see the shadow person at the far left side of the video, walking from left to right. Yeah. Very, very weird. After hearing the sound of footsteps, a dark figure can be seen walking in the background. Behind Isaac, a dark, slender shadow figure walks by one of the pillars. Neither of the men noticed this figure at the time, but luckily Roberts had his camera pointed in that direction. So was this... Goosebumps. Okay, I mean, okay. It's actually a ghost chilling in the background, or something more explainable. Number eight. Okay, that was good. Good. I don't know what to say about it. I mean, could be fake, could be real, but it's still good. Eight. Give me a little bit of goosebumps. TikTok account, a man named Connor recently had a close run-in with something paranormal. As he was coming home one night, he could sense that someone was behind him. But every time he turned around, there wasn't anyone there. Luckily, his ring doorbell managed to catch this terrifying experience. Uh-oh. What? As Connor was walking up his sidewalk, a dark figure appeared behind him, but quickly disappeared as soon as he turned to take a look. And as he began to unlock the door, this figure reappeared directly behind him. Connor uh -oh. still wasn't sure what to make of this footage, but clearly this entity was just trying to reach out about his car's extended warranty. Yeah. Number nine. Gotta be it. The man behind the Austin Laskins YouTube channel posted a video back in 2020 of a terrifying encounter he had. One night at 2 a.m. while he was working in his studio, he began hearing strange noises. He swore he could hear footsteps coming from somewhere in the building, as well as seeing something out of the corner of his eye. And uh -oh. after deciding to investigate, he pulled out his phone and managed to catch this. So it's about 2 o'clock in the morning. Um, I've been working in the studio. In the last couple of nights, I've been hearing really creepy sounds. Um, I've been hearing footsteps and... And, um... And like seeing things out of the corner of my eye. Now this is a really big old building, and so that's got me a little bit freaked out. But the top of it was just a, a few minutes ago. I was going to the bathroom, and I was standing in the stall, and I swear someone grabbed the back of my shoulder while uh -oh. I was standing there, and I freaked out. So uh, if uh, if something happens, I want to have it on video. Fair enough. What's going on? Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Don't you peek a boomy. like it so this is where I was man this is going fast hell yeah This is a bit intense here. I mean, if you're wondering why I'm so jumpy, it's 
is cause I have the volume very, very, very high. So for me, every little sound is very high. So that's why I'm so jumpy. It's probably not gonna be that loud for you. But for me, it's very loud. Just to make it more scary. inside multiple rooms in the old building he was unable to find anyone but as he walked down a hall at the end of the video something can be seen looking at him a ghostly face looks to be peering around the corner watching oh, his every wow. move and from where this head is this figure would have to be very very tall the man behind this channel still has no idea what this was but i would love to hear what you think number 10 i mean okay let's take a look let's investigate Ah oh, man, there was a lot of banging, a lot of sounds. That was kind of okay, most replayed. I guess everyone wanna know. Face looks to be peering. I mean, it's super hard to see. I mean, obviously it's a face peeking out, doing the little peekaboo as always. The corner, watching his every move, and from where this head is, this figure. Yeah, I mean, it's very high up. The stairs is here. It could be a ledge, like, it seems like it's a ledge there. So obviously it could be the same here. And the person could be standing on it, peeking out. But okay, yeah, I don't know. Scary. The figure would have to be very, very tall. The man I mean, behind yeah. this channel still has no idea what this was, but I would love to hear what you think. Number 10. Okay, I don't know. What a do you think? A woman named Rona looks to be your average TikTok user who posts videos about her everyday life. Well, recently, while she was checking the baby monitor camera that's set up in her elderly mother's room, she noticed something that sent chills down her spine. She quickly began recording what she saw, knowing that without video proof, no one would believe this. What the f*** is that? Okay, it's now like something it. touching her. Oh no. What the hell is that? It was that. That looks a bit weird. As her mother was lying in bed, what looks like a glowing arm can be seen reaching towards her. And as this arm lingers in place, the woman appears to be talking to someone, despite the fact that there was no one else in the room, or at least no one that was living. Thanks for sticking around until the end of the video. As always. I mean, that looked a bit weird. I mean, yeah, I can see the arm-ish here. But what's this? Looks like a little doll just dancing around a bit. There's no one else in the room. Or at least no one that was living. Thanks for sticking around hey, until the know. end of the video. As always, if you enjoy these creepy videos, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos like this. Okay, good. Oh well, yeah, okay. That's it. But that was a really good video. I mean, because uh, yeah, I mean, every clip was new to me. I haven't seen any of them before. It was good. I mean, every clip gave me a little bit of goosebumps. And the sound effects and everything else gave me a bit of a scare as well. So, I mean, that's good. But, but yeah, I liked it. I did. And if you did as well, in the description, link to the channel, go in there, subscribe, and like, and all that. 
And like I said before, we're closing in on 200 subscriber share. So if you would be so kind and press that subscribe button, I would really appreciate it. But yeah, I got, I'm going to try to upload a bit more often now during the October and the Halloween spook fest. So yeah, I'm looking forward to it. If you want to be for a ride, of course, subscribe. Yeah, thank you. Until next time. Goodbye. Bye.